Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome to Jay's World, so let's talk. You know how we do it, so let's get into it. Okay, um, I'm sure by now you all have heard that the world of entertainment has lost uh, legendary icon director John Singleton. John was only 51 years old. He died of a massive stroke. Uh, he was pretty much taken off of life support uh, a couple of days ago. Whew. You guys, this is just a tough one all the way around, you know, particularly for people like me that grew up with John Singleton in those movies back in the 90s. You know, of course, we all know his premier movie, the one that pretty much put him on the map that was Boys in the Hood back in the 1990s. I mean, that movie literally, literally kicked off John Singleton's career and made him the legend and icon that we know him to be today. Um, he had so many hit movies, oh my God, uh, other than Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice, Higher Learning, Baby Boy, Rosewood, the remake of the movie Shaft, Fast and Furious, Four Brothers, Woo with Keenan Ivory Wayans, Hustle and Flow, and just so many more movies. Movies that I, I even don't have time to even list on this video, not to mention all of the stuff that he's been working on on television as well. Black cinema and black movies would not be what they are today if it were not for the pioneering efforts and the vision that Mr. John Singleton had. You know guys, John Singleton back in the 90s pretty much came up with a group of other uh, talented directors as, as well. Uh, people like Spike Lee, uh, Keen and Ivory Wayans, uh, the Hudlin brothers right here from the St. Louis area. As a matter of fact, they are actually from East St. Louis, Illinois. Um, you had uh, 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 Robert Townsend. I mean, uh, uh, and there are so many more from back then. John Singleton was definitely a part of that elite group of black directors that just made a way for so many, so many uh, other directors that we have today. You guys, if there would be no Tyler Perry or Kenya Burris, if there would, if if, if it weren't for uh, uh, Mr. John Singleton and all of those guys back then. I mean, th this is such a devastating loss to not only Hollywood, but just for the culture, period. He's, this man has given so much and has done so much. Um, quite a few years ago, in my own family, my aunt, my, my dearly beloved Aunt Jean, this was a lady that, yeah, you guys, when I tell you, I love this woman to my core. She was just a beautiful spirit. My Aunt Jean was funny. <laughs> she was smart. A little petite little lady, just as cute as she wanted to be, with the biggest personality. And she was one of my inspirations. My Aunt Jean and, and I were very close, and I, I love her to this day. I remember being at work, getting a call, and, and, and uh, my cousin telling me that my Aunt Jean had had a stroke and she was in a coma. And I was like, you know, it was just devastating for our entire family. And I didn't know much about, you know, I, people having strokes. And I learned from that situation that there are different types of strokes that people can have. And um, for lack of uh, knowledge, medical knowledge, they my, my Aunt Jean had what they call a stroke in the head. So that was pretty much saying that, you know, her brain was just gone at that point. You know, so a lot of times when stroke victims have strokes like that, they put them into a medically induced coma and they just want to see what type of brain activity is going on. They give the brain time to rest and for the swelling to go down and to, you know, and to see if there's anything left. And unfortunately, there was nothing left for my Aunt Jean. You know, she was technically brain dead. So when I heard about John Singleton and after hearing that he had a stroke and then they said following that, they put him into a, a coma. I was like, uh-oh. 
here we go again. So I pretty much knew at that point that John was pretty much gone. At least, you know, he just wasn't there anymore. So it was just a matter of time before the family got, gathered, gathered things together and they decided to, you know, um, pull the plug. And that's pretty much what happened with John Singleton. Just, just very, very sad. You know, and unfortunately, I have heard that um, there has been some infighting in John Singleton's family. Um, I'm just praying for this family, you know, uh, and, and trust me, I know all about infighting when a, when a family member dies. That happened in my own family, but I'm not going to make that about this video. I don't, I don't want to you know, go into details, but I know all about that and that it can just be an ugly, ugly thing. And it's just not good for anyone involved, you know? I mean, my God, the man is not even in the ground yet. Why are you fighting? I've never understood families that did that. And what really bothers me about families that, that do all of this fighting over material things and money and, 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 and you know, cars and, and, and all of this stuff, why? Why do you do that? I don't understand. Why are you so angry about something that was never yours? These things were never yours to begin with. Why are you angry about stuff that was never yours? If the person had never died, you would never get those things. And so, and for you to be angry about material things that were never yours, it's just crazy to me. I don't understand that. I mean, and, and you guys, let's, I want to have a conversation about that. Put it down in the comment section. I just want to know, have you ever uh, been in a situation like that in your family? When people are fighting and acting just a damn fool over material things that were never theirs to begin with, and now they're all mad and angry and fighting? Really? Somebody make that make sense to me. I just don't understand that. And I just want to say, if you are in a family and you're going through something like this right now, where there's a loved one that's passed on and you mad because uh, uh, cousin such and such promised you uh, the car or, or your auntie said that you could have the house or, or y'all stop that mess. Stop that mess right now. All of this stuff is on loan for all of us. We're only gonna be on this planet for so many years or however long the Lord sees fit. I mean, don't get me wrong. Material things are nice to have. Hey, who who, who wouldn't like a nice outfit or a nice house or or, or, or a fancy car or, 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 or diamonds and jewelry and things like that? Those things are nice to have, but it's all on loan. You can't take that stuff with you. You know, life is too short and time is fleeting. There are more important things to live for than to fight about material things that never belong to your ass to begin with. So stop it. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I done made myself mad, but, it, but it's, it's just ridiculous and it's stupid. So, I'm, I'm just praying for John Singleton's family. I hope they get all of that stuff together. I did hear on the news today that um, there was a will for John Singleton. He's worth like $35 million. So his mom is pretty much the executor of his estate. He, I know John Singleton has six or seven children. So apparently, you know, the will is gonna flesh all of that stuff out and it'll, it'll be able to take care of everyone and everyone can go on with their perspective lives. Okay. But anyway, like I said, we're just going to miss John Singleton. But one thing about it, John Singleton has left such a legacy. He honestly has. And, and even though he's gone, uh, his, his legacy will live forever and ever. He's, he's, he, 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 he's left his mark on this world. He's left his mark uh, on, the on the entertainment industry. And he's left his mark on the culture. So that I do feel happy about. So um, God bless you, John Singleton. Um, you are now officially in a better place, my brother. And you've made our ancestors proud and they welcome you home. All right, so this Hot Topics 
is dedicated to the one and only Mr. John Singleton. Rest in peace, brother. That's it. That's all I got today, guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting on? And after you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell icon. Because when you hit the bell icon, every time I drop a new video, YouTube will send you a notification and you too can be down with the notification squad. That's it. That's all I got. And I will holler at you later.